The Audi year 2011 got off to a good start. The Ski World Cup in Kitzbühel was again one of the top events on the World Cup calendars of athletes and fans alike. Traditionally, this unique event culminates in the Audi night celebration, the absolute highlight of the evening, celebrity guest Amy McDonald singing a duet with Jamie Cullum. The ADAC presented its Gelber Engel Award for the seventh time. Audi was the lucky recipient of two of the coveted prizes. Fresh on the scene, the Audi A1 took third place among the most popular cars, while the A5 secured second place in the quality category. Also in January, Audi is showcased on 1,200 square meters of advertising surface in Terminal 2 of the Munich airport. The real showstopper? Facade artist Oliver Cray and his team spray paint an image of the A7 Sportback on it. The advertising space becomes a work of art. The Ski World Cup in Garmisch Partenkirchen. Two weeks packed with emotions, victories and fun, but also with tears and defeat. As a sponsor, Audi again offered an exciting program. Enjoying the athletes' achievements, 29 medals went to international participants supported by Audi. Another shower of prizes for Audi in February. Automotor and Sport magazine asked its readers to vote for their favorites in different categories again this year. The Audi A1, A3, A4, A6, A8, as well as the Audi Q5, R8 Coupe and the R8 Spider all won in their respective classes. Audi and its affiliate Lamborghini offered a peek into the future of lightweight construction. Although these two top brands have chosen differing paths, they are both in pursuit of the same goal, maintaining the lead in the competition in lightweight construction technology. The FC Bayern All-Star Team, a charitable team organization of former world champions and Champions League winners since the year 2006, played a benefit game again in March. This time, the ex-pros played in Calcutta, India. Wild countryside, remote villages, rainforests in the mist. The Audi R8 Spider struck out on a fascinating trip through Brazil in March. The new Audi A6 also took off on a trip of its own. Sporty, elegant and with the most athletic proportions of any vehicle in its class, its lines went particularly well with the unique background of the Côte d'Azur and the landscape of Provence. Celebrity violinist and prodigy David Garrett discovers his passion for Audi in Berlin. During a drive in the new Audi A6, the star tells us just what he most enjoys about the Audi brand. April sees the unveiling of the first spectacular images of the new compact class premium SUV, the Audi Q3. Its strength, intelligently utilized space, innovative drives and assistance systems, as well as its unique design, redefining the term individuality. After a wait of six long months, it's back to the DTM. Audi's goal is absolutely crystal clear this season. The championship title must return to Ingolstadt. And the Audi Sport team is preparing for just this task on the track of the Euro Speedway Lausitz. A spectacular staging with a spectacular backdrop. In May, the new Audi Q3 is presented to the public in Shanghai. A great success. The compact SUV definitely won its audience over. Also in May, Audi announces one of its long-developed pioneering projects to the public. In leaps and bounds towards the future, the fully electric super sports car, Audi R8 e-tron, is proudly presented. In June, it's time again for the legendary 24 Hours of Le Mans. Victory and defeat lie close together in this 24-hour race, and in the end, a margin of 13.854 seconds leads Audi to its 10th Le Mans victory. The Audi Cube 3 in Barcelona has been a real highlight in the Spanish metropolis since June 2011. The Cube 3 features the Audi Q3 compact SUV as part of a progressive installation. A nine-day sailing extravaganza under the sign of the Four Rings Keel Week, the biggest sailing event in the world, yet again with an unparalleled offering of thrilling regattas, celebrity guests and the legendary Windjammer Parade.
For the 39th edition of the legendary 24-hour race on the Nürburgring, Audi appeared with six Audi R8 LMS in the GT3 class, including two vehicles from the Audi race experience. In the end, Audi secured third, fourth and fifth place in the overall ranking. The race experience took 18th place overall. In July, throngs of classical music fans head for Salzburg for the most famous classical music festival in the world, the Salzburg Festival. Audi has been a main sponsor of this unique event since 1995. Society highlight again in 2011, Audi Night. Istanbul is colorful, hip, vivacious and vibrant. The perfect location for the Audi R8 GT. One of the most exciting cars in the world on its way through one of the most exciting cities in the world. The Silvretta Classic is a must for any classic car enthusiast. The picturesque Alpine roads of Austria's Montefon Valley provide just the right backdrop for the Audi 90 and two Audi Coupés. The electric automobile rally is new but very ambitious. The route, a real challenge. Actually developed for driving in large urban spaces, the vehicles must now master curving mountain passes. Not a problem for Audi, winner of the rally was the Audi A1 e-tron. The month of July saw the world of racing sit up and take notice. Audi presented the first images of its DTM race car for 2012, the Audi A5 DTM. For the second time, the Audi Cup brought world-class football teams together in Munich's Allianz Arena. AC Milan, FC Barcelona, Bayern Munich and the SC Internacional de Porto Alegre thrilled the crowds in the sold-out stadium. August starts off with the Audi Summer Concerts 2011. This classical music festival was opened by the legendary Milan Scala under the direction of Semyon Buchkov, with a live broadcast for viewing and listening pleasure on Audi TV. The 24 hours of Spa is the most important long-distance race in the GT3 class, making it the best possible stage for the Audi R8 LMS. Despite various problems, the Audi sports car won this superlative race in the GT3 world. In September, with the new A6 Avant, Audi once again set standards in the executive class. More efficient lightweight construction and ultra-modern technology reflect Audi's high-tech expertise. More dynamic, more efficient, more intelligent, the new Audi A5 is now even more attractive. The revised design makes it even more distinctive. It is indeed sharpened in shape and in performance. The month of September is dominated by the International Automobile Exhibition in Frankfurt. In addition to a range of exciting new vehicles and technical innovations, Audi also thrilled visitors with new technology. A central focus, the three core competencies, Audi Connect, Ultra Lightweight Construction and the e-tron. In October, throngs of people crowd Berlin's Alexanderplatz. The reason? The German market introduction of the Audi Q3. A number of television and football celebrities decided not to pass up the occasion. Welcome to the world of Audi R8 pilots. From the Audi sports cars experience with the Audi R8 5.2 FSI Quattro to the Audi individual experience. Audi R8 pilot stands for fascination, driving pleasure and new experiences. The Audi Generation Award honors up-and-coming talent in three categories, music, media, and sport. This year's winners, Liv Lisa Fries, Sabina Lezicki, and Tim Bensko, accepted their awards in the accustomed exclusive setting of the Hotel Bayerische Hof in Munich. Rarely was a DTM year more exciting than 2011. Victories and defeats, surprises and twists were all part of the package. In the end, it was Martin Tomczyk who won this year's DTM driving last year's car. In November, the first images of the new Audi A4 are presented to the public. Further and newly developed cutting-edge technology makes this top-selling car even more efficient, more comfortable and more attractive. Audi Connect provides the connection between Audi cars and the internet. 
between the owner and his surroundings, infotainment, entertainment and links between navigational data and assistance systems. Audi Connect is connected mobility. The Spanish football clubs FC Barcelona and Real Madrid are both presented their Audi team cars almost simultaneously. And the most popular automobile among the celebrated Spanish players was the Audi Q7. 20 automobiles, 160 drivers, 5,700 kilometers in 16 legs. This is the Audi Q3 TransChina Tour. China, with its millennia-old culture and a future-fascinated modern society, offers the most diverse driving routes possible, making it the perfect setting for this high-performance SUV. Also in the month of November, the Audi Youth Choir Academy, under the direction of star conductor Kent Nagano, travels to Rome to perform for the Pope in the Vatican, a unique experience that these young musicians are not likely to forget. And again in China, Audi's extensive commitment in the world of golf culminates in the finals of the Quattro Cup in Mission Hills, China this year. But we're already looking forward to the 2012 season. Vorsprung durch Technik, Audi's core philosophy since 1971. And further evidence of this philosophy can be seen in the aesthetic and impressive company film from the brand with the four rings. December offers viewers an interesting peek behind the scenes of the filming of the new Audi A5 showroom film. North America's Great Salt Lake provides the spectacular background for the shoot. A lot of hard work and a lot of fun went into the production. <laughs> 